All right, so we're going to continue our discussion of personality. Um, these are the learning objectives for this particular section. Describe the concepts of self-actualization and flow. Define the existential approach to personality. Um, and then we'll talk about, remember last time we talked about the psychodynamic approach, um, contrasting that, being able to contrast that with the humanistic existential approach. So you remember the psychodynamic approach that was pioneered by Freud. We had kind of a dark screen for that one. Um, and it really emphasized the more a more pessimistic view of humanity. And the humanistic existential approach pioneered by Abraham Maslow, Carl Rogers, um, was kind of a, a, a response to that. So the humanistic approach emphasized how humans make healthy choices humans inherent goodness, uh, potential for growth. And Maslow and Rogers were these two humanistic psychologists. So one concept connected to the humanistic approach is this concept of self-actualization. You remember the, the need for self-actualization is at the top of the pyramid of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And this is defined as the need to be good, to be fully alive, to find meaning in life. Of course, this is something that we only achieve after the, the more basic needs are met, physiological needs, uh, belongingness, love, acceptance, things like that. But this is what we mean when we, when we talk about self-actualization. Another concept I want you to know about related to the humanistic approach is this, this concept of flow. And uh, this is a, a state of energized focus. Um, where you feel that you are taking on a challenge that, that matches your abilities. If you can see in that the graph there, that if you have a challenge that surpasses your abilities, you experience anxiety. If you have a challenge that, or abilities that surpass the challenge, then you experience boredom. So right there in that sweet spot is the state of flow. And this is part of the um, the humanistic idea that we we want to seek these kind of experiences out when we um, when we uh, experience this energized focus. So the existential approach, you can see you got the word existence in there, and the existential approach. As you can see there, it regards personality as governed by an individual's ongoing choices and decisions in the context of the realities of life and death. That we exist now, but um, our lives will end. So how do we cope with that? So the existential approach um, postulates that we, we kind of go through this thought process that I exist, and I can make choices to influence my life, you also have a wide spread of choices available. Maybe you've been to a restaurant like this where you have just tons of options. Coming to the realization that you're responsible for your actions. And then we experience what is termed angst. Um, this is the anxiety of fully being, of experiencing all of these things in this thought process. So this results from the difficulties in finding meaning in life and accepting responsibility for our choices. We also face the inevitability of death, um, that eventually our lives will end, um, happens to everybody. Um, so what is the purpose of, of life? What is the purpose of our existence? How do we deal with this angst um, of being fully alive and having these, the responsibility for making choices among all, this huge spread of options and knowing that our lives will end, that it's, it's finite. We only have a limited time to, to engage in this. Some may deal with this angst through seeking out material possessions, uh, numbing the angst with substances like alcohol, or just a, uh, turning inward and trying to create kind of a false reality. Or you face the challenges head on, um, you learn to cope with the angst, um, seek out relationships with others, and that's considered a more adaptive way to deal with this angst. If you're interested in doing a, a movie review uh, as one of the assignments in your portfolio, 
this is a movie you might want to check out. Maybe you've seen it or maybe you've read the book, um, The Giver. Um, there's a there's a link um, to the uh, trailer um, there. And if you were to, yeah, <laughs> if you want to just watch the trailer or watch the movie and do a review, think about what ideas do you see aligning with the existential approach, um, how this society has um, dealt with you know, the, uh, the responsibility for actions that all humans have and um, choices that people tend to make. All right, I will post these poll questions uh, online. I had a few prepared. Um, I'll post these as a practice quiz on Canvas. Um, so you can go ahead and um, complete those and just check for understanding. Uh, there's a few scenarios kind of like this. Um, how a therapist may use these different approaches um, in trying to um, uh, help people dealing with various challenges. Does this align more with kind of a more humanistic existential approach to therapy or a psychodynamic approach? All right.